Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. I typically don't do a lot of commenting on current events or political type stuff, but I just can't resist making a video about this one. So somebody posted a picture of Hillary Clinton's Twitter and Barack Obama's Twitter feed where they talked about the Sri Lanka attacks. Hillary says, on this holy weekend for many faiths, we must stand united against hatred and violence. I'm praying for everyone affected by today's horrific attacks on Easter worshipers and travelers in Sri Lanka. And then Barack Obama also talks about the attacks on tourists and Easter worshipers in Sri Lanka. Easter worshipers? It's like these people are just falling all over themselves not to use the word Christian. They're so reprobate that they came and just use the easy to say word Christian. So they just say Easter worshipers just to try to use a circumlocution to avoid that word at all costs. But what really struck me is that Hillary Clinton starts out in the first breath on this holy weekend for many faiths. So just before she even gets into any kind of condolences for the Christians who were attacked, uh, she just has to say, well, you know, this, you know, this, Weekend is for other religions too. I mean, it's not just a Christian holiday. It's not just Easter. You know, it's, it's actually a holy week. Is it really a holy weekend for four or more faiths? Because the word many would imply four or more. Are there four or more religions that have holidays this weekend? I mean, I'm not aware of it. I mean, I, Easter's the big one. I know that the Jews have Passover. Then on Barack Obama's post, the attacks on tourists and Easter worshipers. Again, he's avoiding the word Christian by saying Easter worshipers. And then I thought it was funny how he puts the tourists first. You know, that's his priority. So I guess these terrorists just really hate tourism. We're going after the tourists. Okay. Obviously, there were tourists that were there and also affected. But he says the attacks on tourists and Easter worshipers, putting the tourists first and refusing to say Christian, but using the strange term that he and Hillary both use, Easter worshipers. Obviously that's just what their experts or think tank told them would be a good substitute for Christians. And then he says, on a day devoted to love, redemption and renewal, we pray for the victims and stand with the people of Sri Lanka. So I, I guess he just stands with all the people of Sri Lanka, even the violent people that carried out this attack. Why doesn't he, you know, stand with the Christians? But I thought it's funny how it's this day of renewal. You know, instead of saying, hey, it's this day where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ or we celebrate when Jesus rose from the dead. It's a day of love and renewal. You know, renewal is what you do with your library card, okay? Jesus Christ actually came back from the dead. This isn't just about renewal, okay? That's a pretty weak word to use. Anyway, like I said, I just couldn't resist pointing out how wicked these people are that they, they can't even acknowledge that, you know, there was an attack targeting Christians or that Christians were persecuted or that, uh, you know, non-Christians carried out violence against Christians. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great day.